I'm Shadow with Q102. I'm Jason with Brown Derby. Welcome to Drinking 101. That's right. What are we drinking and I love these names. That's right. So Halloween's behind us, although it's not going to seem it's like Christmas. it when you hear. Yeah. <laughs> She's already moved on. People. I've moved on. Yeah. We Halloween. call uh, we call Thanksgiving the uh, practice practice holiday for Christmas. Yeah, Pre-Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, so it's fall now. It's officially fall. Halloween's behind us. And uh, we're going to go... As this time of year, as with summer and other types, there's the seasonal beer industry is just, it's ridiculous. And there's all these new types of great beers, perfect for this time of year, leading into the cooler weather, uh, the holidays with your family and friends. And uh, the ones we have out here today are, are great represent representations of it. So mm -hmm. we'll start with the first one. Everybody's familiar with New Belgium and everybody's familiar with Ben and Jerry's. And for the first time, they actually made a uh, beer collaboration together. This so. has actually uh, been talked about for a couple weeks. Um, yeah. I've heard a few people mention uh, the fact that they've taken some of our favorite beer and some of our favorite ice cream and basically mixed them together. What yeah. is this one? This is the Salted Caramel Brownie Brown Ale. Yeah, that doesn't sound terrible at all. <laughs> yeah. So those are like all of my favorite things. That's right. So like put this they in a just pint, shoved frozen it into a pint beer. With, a, with a spoon, and uh, I'm good to go for a Friday night. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, that's ridiculously good. You know, that is and honestly, dangerous. New Belgium. My purse? Yeah. <laughs> New Belgium makes great beer, have for a long, long time, and as we like to call them, they're just, they, they kind of get it. They're a get it company. And uh, for them to collaborate with Ben and Jerry's uh, on something like this just makes a ton of sense. It's got a picture of a skiing cow on it. Yeah, this is this is really really. That good. is a tasty, wickedly tasty beer. So we'll shift gears here quite a, just a little bit, and eh, we don't really have to. <laughs> we don't really I have mean... to. Uh, Crown Valley, if everybody's familiar with Crown Valley here in Missouri, uh, St. Genevieve, a little south of uh, St. Louis, I think, um, is. <laughs> Uh, released, they're very famous for their strawberry cider that we do gangbusters with during the summertime. Oh. Now they've done a fall release called the Gingerbread Cookie Crown Valley. That's this one right here. What's this one? We're getting to that. You're getting ahead of yourself. Uh, am I getting here. ahead of myself? Yeah. I just so. want to drink things. That's why it's called Drinking 101. That's right. So this is a gingerbread. I know you explained this all to me before we went on camera. We actually and literally like... go through a dry run and then here we are. It's like we've never even met before. I don't listen. Oh, that smells like gingerbread. Yeah, yeah, which is good because that's what they were going for. So, um, oh my gosh, gingerbread cookie cider. I've never had this before. This sounds and smells like it's going to be my my fall drink. It tastes like gingerbread cookies <sighs> in the form of booze. Oh yeah, it's kind of like um, you know, like how the Schlafly pumpkin beer tastes exactly like pumpkin pie yeah. stuffed in a bottle. They took a gingerbread cookie, they crunched it up, they put it in a blender, and then they bottled it. So <laughs> that's what they did. I literally just thought of a gingerbread man screaming as yeah. he was Help being me. shoved in a bottle. Yeah, no! Tell my family I said hi! We're funny amongst ourselves. That's right. We're going to mm -hmm. get like five likes on YouTube. Drinking 101. That's right. So, that is a good beer. This is crazy. Or hard cider. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's that's insane. So what's also great mm. about this time of year, and you think about it in terms of wine and the fall harvest, so hops are harvested as well. And you get a lot of fresh hop beers uh, that come out and uh, take advantage of the freshness. That's what this is. Now you oh, can start okay. drinking that. That gingerbread. So Founders uh, does a beer every year called the Harvest Ale, uh, which is the first beer they make with Harvest, new fresh Harvest hops. So you get a very, very piney, very fresh, resiny, grapefruit beer. IPA, of course, and the Pale Ale. This That's is good. Beer connoisseurs are going to really like that one. Yeah, this is really good. It's one of my favorite f fresh pop beers that comes out every fall. We only get a limited amount, but you can come by the Derby Deli, which is where we're sitting today. We happen to have this on draft. So come on in, get some lunch, uh, and have a pint of uh, Founders Harvest Ale. Have a pint of this, grab a six pack of this, and a six pack of that. Yeah. You're good to go. That's right. All right, cheers. Cheers.